The following is a Just Green production brought to you by the Might Be News Network. What up, everybody? This is Relatable Radio, where it is always ladies' night. Except for tonight. Not tonight. Tonight, <laughs> it's almost a battle of the sexes. It's 2v2. Who's going to come out the victor? I'm totally Uh-oh. playing. We're not really competing. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you would I don't know why. Go down. <laughs> the first thing that popped into my head was like, like, fighting. like American gladiators <laughs> with the big Q-tip things. Like, we're, we're going to battle. Yeah, but you're weak. <laughs> uh, <laughs> with me tonight, I have Allison. What up? Uh, Taylor Cooper is always. Hi. And tonight is a very special <laughs> guest. <laughs> Father <laughs> Box. <laughs> I can't even say that. I don't even know. Hi. I don't know. Hi. Um, <laughs> it's John. John. He um, He's a frequent guest for Might Be News. I like the title fan favorite. Fan favorite. Oh. Yeah, that's right. He's a fan favorite. He anointed himself. <laughs> I don't know if that counts. Go to guest host. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He's he's a good backup. <laughs> Back that thing up. Ugh. Somebody's got to. Amy's out of town. so Amy is out of town. Yeah. She went to her, what's she called? Momcation? Mom tri- yeah, Momcation. Yeah. Momcation. Mom yeah. Hi, Amy. Hi. Miss you. Hi. Mean it. You better be so. listening. <laughs> she, it looks like she was just in uh, Colonial Williamsburg, which is where we vacationed last week. So we'll oh, have a lot right. to talk about last, last week. week. Yeah. Last year. Last year. <laughs> you did not. Go I don't there know last what week. year it is. I don't <laughs> know what day it that is. That would have been dope. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, Who you <wrong>. fucking? <laughs> Who you fucking? <laughs> you, you dummy. You were, were done in Williamsburg last year? Who you fucking? <laughs> last year. Last week? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you guys are just dumb. Uh, wow, wow, yeah. wow. Wow. Well, well, whatever. So, um, it's true. It's true. how was everyone's weekend? <laughs> Good. Yeah, I had a lot What'd of fun. You do? A lot of fall things. Very yeah, you. Polished. I saw you went to some pumpkin patches. Yep, we did that yesterday. Multiple now, pumpkin you- patches. We went to Lynn Villa on Friday to the witch's house, and that was fun. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we went to Milky Way for pumpkins okay. on. Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, you went Sunday. Yeah. Uh, John, what did you do this weekend? So it sounds super exciting, but I heard that there was a hazardous waste event for Chester County, <laughs> right? Yeah. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but like if you have stuff that you can't throw away in your normal trash, you can take it to this event and yeah. get rid of it. So I got really excited about it because you guys know I just moved recently. Yeah. And there's all this paint, paint. And, and stuff in the house. It's my only thing I go to. Yeah. So I, I went through this whole thing. I switched cars with Robin because my car doesn't have car seats. And she was working. So we switched cars. And I loaded the van up with all this paint and stain and spray paint and all this stuff just emptied my house. And I pull up and the the line it was in Westchester, is through the parking lot and out onto the street. Like everybody <laughs> in Chester County was there to dump stuff. So I was in line for over an hour and I pull up and they open the back of the, the van up and the guy's like, we don't take paint. <gasps> Did they have like a flyer that said that? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, dude, I just waited here an hour. Can you take some of it? <laughs> I was. That's exactly what I said. I was like, he was like, oh, you just open the lid and let it dry out and then you can throw it away with regular trash. Well, you so can. I was like, can that you do true. that? Because yeah. I'm here and I like, have this paint in my car and that I, I want out of here. Hour. <laughs> so that, that's what I did this weekend. <laughs> Talk about smart. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, um, my parents did that. I think you put like kitty litter or something yeah. in there. That's what he told me. So I ended so up going to. So you didn't take it all the way. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's fucking stupid. stupid. And then yeah. unload it. Yeah. Oh, but man. I stopped at BJ's on the way home. Got you got a big thing of kitty litter, so. Did you use all the kitty litter up, or? Because Jackie even done needs it because she's getting up. a cat, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get a cat soon. <laughs> yeah. Within, <laughs> within, within the next year. <laughs> Taylor's eyes roll. I did. see I was a about video. to like burp straight into the microphone. <laughs> Please don't. Uh, no, we're not getting a cat. <laughs> <laughs> we will one day. Kitty litter doesn't go bad, does it? What are you gonna name it? Depends. Shit stain. 
<laughs> Not your nickname. Depends on what. <laughs> <laughs> um, it depends on appearance and personality. Mm. Makes sense. And obviously the gender. Like I wouldn't name like a boy cat Bell or like you don't know that <laughs> Mulan or something. Mulano. Mulano. I'd be down with that. <laughs> I like cookies. Yeah. That would be Milano, but whatever. Isn't that what you said? I said Mulano. <laughs> There's a difference. It's a vowel. It's a different. Whatever. Either way, when you when you pick up pumpkins with your kids, do they carve them or do they paint them? I actually planned a neighborhood pumpkin carving night. Wow, look at you. I know. Wow. So you are organized. <laughs> uh, we Well, everyone just comes and we just hang in our front yard. But it's all the neighbors, so it's going to be like a line of okay. houses. Yeah. And it's, you're going to, so they're going to carve. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is Summer going to carve? Uh, pr- Probably for a little bit, and then I'll put her to bed. How is she can. with knives right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even good with knives. <laughs> Neither is Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually am not. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> the, <laughs> the first time, the first time I met Taylor's dad, um, he openly made fun of my knife usage. So, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's a big deal. It's a big deal. Like she's r- like straight garbage. But a lot with of knives. are just like you know what? These knives aren't sharp. <laughs> That's the problem. It's the knives or the plates sliding or mm. you know, I need something with some grip. Shit. Yourself. What, what does that mean? <laughs> like, if you're not good with a knife, I just assume you're cutting yourself. What What do you mean that? <laughs> If you're not good with a like, knife, like you just you're not getting I, oh god, through. the whole table shaking. I just can't cut through <laughs> anything. Huh. Just like whatever you're trying to cut, you end yeah. up ruining it in the process of yeah. making nice or, I try or to just, just making a mess. Yeah. Or... I just try to cut immediately in the kitchen and then just leave the knife in there. Like <laughs> and I just pick at it and go with it. Hmm. I'm not good with knives. Doesn't That's mean okay. I couldn't harm you with one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you crazy. <laughs> no, you crazy. What did you do this weekend, Jackie? Well, Friday night I recorded with you guys. It's true. It's true. Saturday, Allison did my hair. Yes, I did. I don't know if it's a it's a subtle difference. Like yeah. I feel like most guys wouldn't pay attention. Yeah. Like no one at work was like, Oh my god, I love your hair. Um but she put a little bit of highlights in there. Yeah. Nice. Light up. Freshen it up a little bit. Get to something it a little different. It's lighter. It's lighter. Yeah, but that's just red fades. So It does. She didn't li- like, how many foils would you say you put in my hair? Maybe 12. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Like you can see it in your ponytail right now. <clears throat> yeah. Like I can notice it. Mm-hmm. It's pretty shining. Well, yeah, I think it is really a lot lighter. Shining. More blondy than it is I know, well, as red as it the usually last, is. The last girl that did my hair didn't. Pull it through and leave it sit for long enough, in my opinion. Yeah. I only got it done like a week and a half ago. And, and she's dead now? Yeah. Like because of her girl. knives. <laughs> um, I go to a school. Okay. I, uh, they're students. Nice. Um, it's so funny. People are like, you let students, you trust students. I'm like, they got to learn sometime. I've been using yeah. the same formula. And it's pretty there's self explanatory. There's I mean, teachers there you. that can, you know, and it saves me a lot of money. You're mm-hmm. supporting people's future. That's awesome. It's, well, yeah. They got to learn. It's and it, it's easy. They put it on the roots and then they pull it through. Should be ten minutes. She only did five, so I think that's the big difference. Yeah. Those extra five minutes really matter. Hopefully, yeah. she learned from that. Mm, probably not. Well, you should go back and tell her. I don't remember. Or her teach name. her a lesson. <laughs> Straight up, I can't even begin to tell you how many people have done done my hair there because it's they're either getting ready yeah. to they just get ready to graduate yep. and then they go on to fancy salons and then I'm like, well, I'm not paying you now. I'll pay you at the school. So it's different every time that you go, you get somebody different. Yeah, unless unless the same student's still there by chance. I also like wait a long time and I really shouldn't. I'm kind of lazy. I would think that I would want the same person to do my hair like every time or, yeah. or you know, like once you find somebody oh, who yeah. does it like you a get good used way, to like, it. I want her every time. After seven years, you get used to it being somebody different. Okay. I don't think I've ever had a guy do my hair at the school, though. I've had a guy do highlights in my hair years ago, and it took like three hours. And at I'm like, school? no. Oh. Like How? at an actual wow. salon. How and long I was does it like, normally take? I usually book like two hours for a color. 
A girl and I used with like cut. Yeah. And all of that, a yeah. girl I used to go to love my hair. She was like, your hair is so easy to do. Like it does it, whatever I want it to do. I'm like, I know she, she could get highlights and everything done in like an hour and a half. Hmm. She was yeah. just that quick with it. Nice. But that guy took about three hours. Like I was late to a birthday party. I was like, Jesus, <laughs> like I gotta go. I can't ever figure out what to do with my hair. I keep changing my mind. Cause like, I'm losing it. I got the normal male pattern baldness thing happening. <laughs> so sometimes like I grow it out and I try to style it, but then I feel like I'm putting too much effort into styling it to make it look like I'm not losing hair. Okay. Right. But then I let, like I get lazy, like trying to find time to go get it cut. So it gets like, it grows too much. And then it's like, you yeah. don't want to do it. And then I don't want to, or by the time, like I have time, I need, I have like want to do other things. So I keep putting it off. So that becomes an issue. So then I got frustrated and I went bald. I was just like, F it. I'm shaving my head. Do it. And wow, wow. Yeah. That's what I and do. I, I know you guys talked about it, I think, recently, but like having to constantly maintain a bald head, like if I don't cut it every couple of days, then it's a pain to cut. I know it's people a, who yeah. bick their head every day. Yeah. yeah. But then I was adding that Mr. Clean look. easily another 20 minutes onto my day, like okay. getting ready in the we'll morning. Wake up 20 minutes earlier. Every. I'm not doing that every like day or every other day to maintain it. So now I'm just like F it. And now I'm doing like a, um, like a half inch mm-hmm. or, or not a, not a one, but a, I think I did a half. A half yeah. I don't know what any of those. I the clipper John. Mean. Yeah, I know. I know what that means. Yeah. I just don't know what it actually means. I well, know you're way, talking about clippers, but I don't know what the numbers mean. That way it's okay. Because like, if it grows a little bit, if I do it every couple weeks, it's no big deal. But I feel like, what I'm doing right now is just easy maintenance. Has anyone ever done um, laser hair removal on their head? Do we know this? I don't. Anyone? I need to find I've out. Never heard of it? I need to find out. That'd be kind of neat, but I would do it. I mean, I know I people do have done heartbeat. it, like like picky, like uh, you know. I'm sure it's cheaper than hair plugs. Like like their legs, right. their armpits. Like yeah, I know I- they do it at the gynecologist they offer it <laughs> really yeah when do you do your face and stuff because i'm worried about lasers pointing at your head and like frying your brain by accident i had lasers pointing to my eyeballs because i got laser uh yeah but look at you now <laughs> 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 no i had um what's it called lasik lasik, LASIK yeah. yeah i was like what's it called Laser, <laughs> laser, 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 laser eye, eye, eye removal. show, laser memory removal, <laughs> laser it's, eye removal. I mean, that's a crazy experience, by the way. I'm sure it sounds nuts. I did it. But they like keep like your five eye and open. And yes, you have to stay still. They tape. They tape Ooh. your one eye closed, and they they fo- help put something there to keep your eye other nope. eye open, like like nope. metal that like. No, it's like, a, like on, it's like a soft movies? plastic that helps you hope you know. Okay, you know, just it cups your eyelids to keep them clockwork open. orange. Yeah, you ever see where there's like a little metal hinge or something yeah, that's like underneath your? Yeah. I never yeah. saw Ugh, that movie, that but I out. don't want to see that movie. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Not my thing. You're freaking her out, man. For real, yeah, it's I, so gross. I would do laser hair <laughs> removal on my head for yeah. sure. Because I, I shave no, my head every done. day. Every day I shave that's it. That's so much work. I would do it. I would do it on the top of my head and my my neck. Right. Yeah. F yeah. <laughs> In a heartbeat. Oh, dude, tomorrow. I'm booking it. Look it up. Dude, I'm trying to find out because it's annoying. Because, like, I use the my electric razor on my head. Right. And it dies. It's cool, but it dies. And I've gone through, like, two heads for it. Like, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? The best is when he's, like, in the middle of cutting it. And it's like real obvious, and then it dies. <laughs> He's got a bunch of charge up, and it's like half of his head's done. That's why I do it every day, because you probably <laughs> won't notice if yeah. I either A, miss a spot or whatever. Yeah. He always, he still always asks me. I'm like, no one sees. He's like, I missed a spot. We yeah. were sitting at, down at lunch. And then they saw, and I was we like, went out, <laughs> we went out to lunch over the weekend. We went to lunch I, like, after I got my hair done. Okay. I, I just cut my hair, and we get, <laughs> we get there, we eat, and all that stuff. I get home, and I, <clears throat> I'm like, in the bathroom and I, I kind of just rubbed the back of my head and I'm yep. like, I totally missed a whole, a whole spot, <laughs> like a whole spot. No one saw. I know exactly what you mean where I would do that all the time. I would just be rubbing my head and I'd be like, Oh, I'd hit like a, mm-hmm. a spot on my head with long hair. Yep. Like, fuck. I wonder how terrible that looks. I and gotta, I won't know until I get home. Cause like if I, if I go like two days, it's the Jason Statham, like look, you know what I mean? Right. Where it's just like barely there. Mm hmm. But it's there. 
It's a pain in the ass to shave with your with my electric razor. Yeah. Do you it's, you cut it in the shower? No. Mm-hmm. I do if I have to bick it. Uh, okay. But otherwise, when I'm using my electric shaver, I just... Over the sink. Over the sink. Which is probably why the sink's clogging. Could be. <laughs> I actually had a, um, again. A, a mirror installed in my bathroom specifically because it folds on both sides. Oh. You know what I mean? So I can yeah. look in one and see the back yeah. of my head in the other. That's oh, balling. Nice. Yeah. Danny has one in the, in the shower that he uses. Sure. What, a mirror? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. He probably uses it for... Landscaping too. <laughs> <laughs> we are on to you, Danny. You know all your Just secrets. Kidding. <laughs> um, I also went to Pennhurst. Oh, how was that? I saw you post that on uh, normally social media. Normally, fine. It's normally a really good time, and I'm normally scared really bad. But I wasn't that scared this time. Why? Which is really disappointing. Yeah. So like there that. was a thousand people there. A. We had to wait in the longest line I've ever had to wait in. Like we're talking over an hour. Hmm. So I'm like, okay. I texted him like not even not even through the first attraction. <laughs> like I'd be lucky if I make it home by midnight. Hmm. And we wow. met. We were supposed to. We were. Sp- we probably met up. It was like eight. I don't know. Seven thirty. Eight o'clock. I don't even remember. But then they send you through in groups of, I don't even know how many people, but it, we both, we went through two of the three attractions we signed up for and we were the, we were like at the last and it just sucks when you're in the end of the line because you don't get that scared because you see everything yeah. that's about to come up. Yeah. So Maggie, who's a bitch, kept <laughs> randomly screaming when it was like real quiet and then I would scream or our friend Katie was like, we would all scream at random times because she would just scream. <laughs> to make scream. That's funny. So it was still a good time. Like I went with group, good people. Yeah. It's just, it was, it was no longer that nice, warm, like humid kind of, yeah. Th- like it was cold. Huh. Yeah. Right. And I yeah, purposely wore like jeans and my sneakers because it gets muddy and I just wore a tank top and then I put a sweatshirt over it and I was like, I'm not going to regret this. Mm. <laughs> but when you wait in line that long. Yeah, you're still. Yeah. Which yeah. never happens. I was like, we have to go through like 20 roundabouts no. to get to the straightaway mm. before we're in the, the damn asylum. Yeah. And I said, guys, next year, can we just be honest? Like, let's just do pen- the, the asylum. This year, I've they- never done that. I haven't done any of those Neither actually. Have I. Yeah. Yo, Taylor, did you go with us to Penhurst way back in the day before it was like an attraction? No. Because, you know, it's been closed down for a yeah. while, whatever. So I forget how long ago it was. It was a really long time ago. I think I was working for Wawa. So it must have been like 2005, like mm-hmm. right out of high school. We went to Penhurst and like illegally, like you went on the property oh, yeah. and, uh, and we walked around, you know, underground in the tunnels and stuff like that. But we went in the middle of the day. So it was like okay. noon, you know, so it was bright outside. But when we were inside in the dark, That's like scary. in the tunnels, it's it freaked. It, it was freaky. It was really scary. Uh, it closed in 1987. Wow. And I think when it closed, there was still a lot of like spiritual shit. No, <laughs> I think a lot of like homeless, crazy people on the streets. Is it true that the place was shut down because they were like abusing, abusing yeah. the patients and yeah. stuff? Yeah. That's so, why it gets really creepy. Like when you go in there for this stuff, um, for like the haunted attractions and like the scare factor of it, like part of that I'm like, it feels like it probably hits a little too close to home because part of that probably happened there. Yeah. Yeah. It's really so, weird. Cause I mean, obviously there's no actors. There's just like, maybe there was six or eight of us and we're just like, you know, huddled in a little group walking through this like pitch black tunnel or whatever it was. Oh, there's yeah. like, no, there's tunnels underground. underground. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that go between connect. the buildings and yeah. stuff. So we're walking through these pitch black and, and yep. you think you and hear chills. something and, oh yeah, it was just, it was creepy. You know, the twin so tunnels creepy. in Downingtown. Yeah, yeah. I walked through there one time and I was like me, Maggie and a bunch of other people. I remember Eric Ham was there. And when Eric and our other friend, I think Eddie was there, started running, we were like, why are they running? So we were like running. You're like, You're like you didn't hear that? I'm like, no, but I just see people running. I'm going to follow. <laughs> like, what, are we just going to skip along? <laughs> like, you're running. I'm running. Yeah. Scary. Yeah, no. Scary stuff. So it was all right. Next year, I'm not signing up to do the combo pack. I'm not doing it. <laughs> 
The first one's always the best one anyway. Hmm. So. And then yesterday, you guys oh. came over. Yes. Yesterday was Finn's gotcha day. Yeah. Which means we got him. Happy gotcha day. day, Finn. Two years ago. <laughs> so we had stopped at Petco, got him a little treat, which he ended up devouring once we got home. <laughs> nice. Like I got, we got in, gave him the treat. I went to the bathroom, put my pajamas on, came out. It was gone. Yeah, no, <clears throat> we got him like this bone. It's like one of those artificial bone, like flavor things, whatever. Uh, it said it was na- all natural. Well, whatever. I, it, it, I don't think, I'm just mean, it's not a, a, a bone. Like yeah. it's not really like made of bone marrow. When did you guys give it to him here? Yeah, oh, when okay. we got home from dinner. And not at your house. Like, your dog would have gone. ate it. It was gone. Now, it's weird. My neighbor called me yesterday and was like, did you give Lucy a weird bone? And I'm like, no, why? And he was like, because my dog just came home with one, and I don't know where it came from. And if it was yours, I was going to oh. return it. No. <laughs> I was like, that's weird. No, but then we now didn't that you guys say toys. that, I was like, oh. No, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> but All yeah, right. you guys uh, came over yesterday. John made us dinner. Made dinner. And, some, uh, some ribs. Ribs. He did all right. Some potatoes. Yeah. So, Taylor, I honestly got a feeling when you were eating the ribs that you just did not enjoy them, but you didn't want to say that you didn't like them. No, that's that's zero percent. Zero percent. I I was really like bugging today. No. Like, man, he really didn't like that fucking food and he wouldn't tell me. No, that's crazy. (laughs) Why why do you think that? I don't know. So so it started, I think, with um with um you gave your potatoes to Jackie. Yes. And I was like, all right, he's not feeling the potatoes. <laughs> all right. And I know you've said even recently on one of the shows, like potatoes, I have to have in certain forms. Yeah, like thing. that form he would eat, right? I did. And I did eat. So with the potatoes, so you, you like cut them up and you grill they're them and they're like, were like fries, crispy. Okay. Yeah. yeah they they weren't deep skinny fries, fries right. but they weren't they're like wedges. They're like a steak fry. They were almost. somewhere in between. Yeah. Somewhere yeah. in between. And I ate all of the super crispy ones. Okay. Like super duper crispy. Yeah. And then the ones that I knew. Pecky eater alert. Were the wrong consistency for my <laughs> personal taste. Right. I gave to Jackie. Okay. I give up with you. So I gave her like the big ones. Because it seemed like a lot. So I was like, maybe he didn't like them. And then I know that you're crazy for ribs. Yeah. And you usually will just like devour endless amounts of food. You saw me. I was the first one done by like a f- by a mile. Yeah. I think he was trying to not be rude and eat all the ribs. Maybe that was the case. I thought I was going to go. Because I gave you a half rack. Yeah. And there was two more pretty much half racks sitting up there. Yeah. And I thought for sure as soon as you were done, you'd be like, bro, is anybody eating those? Is anybody eating those? Like you normally would. Like I know how you are and how you normally act. So when you didn't and you were like kind of hesitant when I offered him up and you were like, oh, I guess I could. I was like, man, he doesn't even like this. (laughs) And, And he's probably just like. Like he doesn't want to offend me, so he's like, "Yeah, I guess I'll just force down these these last no. four ribs." No. Chances are he had to poop. <laughs> he was full. Well, he I, I, dude, I seriously it. had all these thoughts. I'm driving in my car to work. Like, man, he didn't fucking like him. Well, maybe maybe he didn't feel good, or maybe Aww. there was like something on no, his you mind. Know, you did. And, Look at you broke him. I know. Yeah. Now we're never gonna no. get ribs again. <laughs> Damn it. Now you know it's funny. When I the reason I asked when I had the 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 seconds of the ribs. Yeah, when I was. I turned around. I was like, "That's not gonna fuck you up, right?" The all like a quarter, half of the way drive home. I was thinking to myself, "Dude, I barely left them with any leftovers. Like, I left them with just enough to throw away and not save." You know what I mean? <laughs> like when I when I'm eating somewhere or whatever, you've yeah. seen me do yep. it. Where yep. I'm just like, if I am gonna Pass have point like, of no a yeah. tiny bit, I'm mm-hmm. just gonna eat the shit because yeah. otherwise I'm gonna throw it away because I'm never gonna eat this. Spoonful yeah. of Did chicken you want Alfredo, leftovers? Right? No, I I no? honestly expect you when you come over to just, just eat it all. Eat it all. Yeah. Like I'm I'm ready for you to just fucking. No, we had kind of a late out. lunch, right? It was like I don't remember what time we ate. No, we yeah. didn't eat lunch. No, you ate your own lunch. I had soccer on Sunday. I came home and ate like a kind bar, and then I was like, Oh right, right, right. Oh yeah. my god, I'm gonna ate, die. Yeah, I ate after work, which was yeah. at twelve. So I you guess ate, it wasn't late. But. You ate a whole frozen pizza. Yeah, I ate a frozen pizza. All right. 
Which, like, well, it makes me feel better that they weren't disgusting. Oh, dude, no. No, they were like, so like, good. Maybe I so put too good. much rosemary nah. in it. <laughs> It, no. it no. tastes good. You Never, did mention, it, so you made a crucial mistake and you mentioned a lot of apple prior to I know, to I thought maybe them. I really fucked it up. No, yeah. see, oh. uh, no, because like. <laughs> He's like, well, I, I, I brimed it in and I even, apple. Yeah, I was all proud. That. All this stuff like, with apples. Next apples, time I'll, I'll cook, cook it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one's eating yeah. ever again. No, no it, was, it was crazy <laughs> good. Awful. It was so good. Because uh, first of all, I haven't had homemade ribs in a long time. Well, I think the last time I had them, you made them. Yeah. That was at your old house, and it was mm-hmm. a long time ago. Just regular oven ribs, probably. Because this oh, is yeah. also a new smoker for me, so I'm still yeah. trying to figure it no, out. No, they were like delicious. Extra they were delicious. Self-conscious. They were meaty. They were banging. They were, they were good. Literally just and the sauces the you phone. gave us were good, too. Yeah, that was just I like the crap. I like the mild one better than the spicy one. Yeah, the sauce was just bottled sauce. I just yeah. didn't want it refrigerated just, or cold, so I'm just letting I heated know. it up in nice dishes. The flavoring it was, was different elegant. on the spicy yep. one. It was regular craft barbecue sauce, and then the spicy one was, um, oh, uh, what is it? I forget the brand. <clears throat> Whatever. Masterpiece. Something like that. I don't know. Either I can't way. think of it. You did no, good. But I, right, I liked glad. it a lot. Yeah. All right, good. The potatoes, like I said, I passed, I passed the ones that didn't pass my consistency. Dude, they were really good. They to, were really you have good. To tell me how to the, make those. The, the seasoning and stuff that you use for the fries were slamming. Were really I, I actually, the way that they were cut, I almost thought they were pieces of apple he was grilling on the grill. And I was like, why are you grilling? Oh, they're potatoes. <laughs> oh. 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 Um, and also, if I seemed at all distracted, it was it was because that was the first time that our your, dogs your met. Dog was being yeah. a jerk to our <laughs> little prince. <laughs> Yo, it was our hilarious. little baby. So John, my dog is a jerk. John has a, a, a boxer named Lucy, mm-hmm. and she is an absolute trip. Like the <laughs> nice, <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's super nice, but she is a goofball. And when we got there, we went straight to the backyard, and I wasn't. I didn't think you guys were out there yet because I didn't like hear anything or whatever. And all of a sudden, Lucy comes around a corner barking her head off. And the second that Finn came back there, like she would not take his eye, take her eyes off him. Mm-hmm. She wouldn't leave his side. Nope. <clears throat> she yep. watched his every she kept, move. Like batting at him. Stalk like, her. You, who are you? Yeah. <laughs> Stage five <laughs> in the wrong yard. yard. Yeah, it, for was, real. it was hysterical. Like Finn, Finn had no idea what to do. Like he he kept running over by by people by whoever was standing by the door there <laughs> yeah. and just sitting there and like Lucy wouldn't even sit she was like standing like like real a bouncer yeah. like just like hovering him. over him <laughs> like grilling at least him. she wasn't humping him like my no. parents' dog does. oh yeah she was cool yeah she didn't hump she didn't growl she didn't bite but she's just all up in his they shit did the snarl whole time on one another they went at yeah. it a couple of times yeah and, like briefly He's but like got in the little house scabs it was a little on different him. what he's got scabs. On his one little arm. From her? Probably. Oh. We don't know that. Rumor it's not has confirmed. It. Rumor has it it's from Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> We're still waiting on the forensic. I, I kept laughing though, because like Finn would go to run and she just clanked bad at him. <laughs> and, like her arms are so much longer. So like so long. he didn't stand a chance. And he didn't know what to do. He really he was spazzing out. I I did Sunday um a story on Snapchat with her. I did see it. Yes. Yeah. It was it was it was hysterical to watch cuz I never know how he's going to react cuz he's he's either going to be skittish or extra extra hype. And he was like somewhere in between yesterday. He like, didn't understand he could, could run tell around he, that whole yard. Yeah, he wanted to get extra extra hype, but I just think that he had A, he had no idea where he was. B, yeah. he had no idea who Lucy was. Yeah. And I just think that he was like kind of confused about the whole thing. But he had a good time. He was fine. Yeah. yeah. He was good. And he the food was gone. delicious. He, we went to bed so early last night. Oh, my God. Yeah, we have to work really early. Well, I have to go to work really early. Some of us week. have off on Friday, and some of us don't. I got to work four tens this week. You I'm have going, to? Yeah, because I'm off Friday. Okay. So I'm going in at five every day this week. Which is so he can be done by wow. three. A super bummer, but it is what it is. Dude, I'd rather if I could go in at five and leave at three, I'd be fine. I'd make it. I would do it. So shut up. Usually you're already up at five anyway, just watching Grey's Anatomy or something. <laughs> I'm all caught up on that. Thank you. No, we're I'm gonna, super impressed. Oh, of. we will talk about. We're gonna we'll talk, talk about the wire. When we're gonna we talk back. about the wire when we come back from break, which yeah. we're about to do right now. Right now. So 
Keep Stay it. tuned. Okay. Yeah. We'll be right back with more related. Stay radio. right where you're at. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, don't go anywhere. <laughs> Promise. Promise us. <laughs> Pinky swear. But you're not going anywhere. We'll be right back, you motherfuckers. Hey, everybody. This is Kevin Reavy. Check out Might Be Sports exclusively on MBN Network. I watch sports. I don't, like, analyze sports. You know what I mean? I watch it, like you said a few minutes ago. There's nothing There's nothing better to me than football on Sunday. It's like this thing. When, when football season starts, everything else stops for me. I tell Jackie all the time. You have, just like the Eagles, you have a bye week. You can pick the week. I don't care what it is. That Sunday is yours. Other than that, football Sunday, that's what it is. Period. New episodes every Wednesday. Why? Because I asked nicely. All right, you're back with Relatable Radio. Jackie, Allison, John, and myself. What up? What's up, man? Yo, real quick. Uh, I just wanted to give a couple shout outs, not to people in general, but places in general. If you're in Chicago, Atlanta, LA, Dallas, San Jose, what up? <laughs> what up? They're, uh, I, I've been going over the stats and, and different things for the network. And let me just say that I'm really, really happy with the way that things are going. If you're a new listener and you're new to the network, welcome. Welcome. And um, I just want to, I just for real, I mean, it means a lot. Uh, the place that we live barely makes the top 10 on this list. And we should be hometown, hometown heroes at this point. Well, shit. I, at this point, I don't care. And if, like I said, if you're in any of these cities, Chicago, Atlanta, LA, Dallas, San Jose, Exton. Uh, <laughs> hey, you know what? Shout out to Exton. Much love. Yeah. I was born and raised here. Claremont, Omaha, Des Moines, Seattle. I mean, it's 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 really crazy. Um, There's even listeners out there in, uh, in, in Ireland, Dublin. What's up? Oh, pretty sweet. I'm I'm really happy about this. Now, um, I assume that quite a few people that are new are here because of the Novak and Fran show, which I produce and I'm on. I guess from time to time, most of the time, I have a great time with it. But if you're here because of them, again, what's up? Hope you're enjoying everything. We got a great lineup. We got a lot of big things planned. Stay with us. Uh, hit us up on Facebook. Follow us. Whatever. Send us suggestions. What do what 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 should we be talking about for Chicago? You know, yeah. I don't know what's going on in Chicago. I uh, you know. Other than what the media wants us to know. What does the media want you to know? I'm a big fan of Half Acre Brewing Company in Chicago. There you go. There you go. Shout so, out. Shout out Half Acre. Shy Town. Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I, I and just And we're turning you off now. That's <laughs> I just want to do that real quick because uh, I didn't even know that these stats were really available until today, and uh, I, I was having a really good time looking at Mind them. Mind blowing! Yeah, mm-hmm. it's cool. good stuff. Cool. cool. So all the shows are doing great. People are listening. People are tuning in. And I'm really happy about it. Hi, everybody. Hi. You know, and check in and um, and message us and say hi and reply to something on Facebook, yeah. so we know where you're at. We are. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's totally. a good idea, right? Do it. Oh my yeah. god. Totally. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Pretty cool. Making it through the wire, Jackie, where we're at. We're on season three. Season three, episode five. Maybe. Five. I just let Hulu tell us. Yeah. Yeah. Where we're at. So how are you liking it? I'm digging it. You like it's, it? It's it's growing on me. Every se- I feel like every season's kind of growing on me a little bit more. Because you get more involved with the characters and that McNulty man. John, you've never watched The Wire? I watched a couple episodes and I didn't stick with it. I might try it again because uh, you, you were raving about Westworld. So mm-hmm. I just started that. I'm like four episodes in. So mm-hmm. you can watch two shots at the same time. Not possible. Yeah, you can. <laughs> no. Because is Robin going to watch The Wire? You can watch The Wire while she's getting caught up on Westworld. That's true. But I have children and a job. Wait. So let me, tell no you, do? let me tell you a little something about The Wire, right? So first of all, The Wire is extra, extra, extra gangster. The next fun fact about The Wire is that it's kind of weird watching it because it takes, they, they made it in the early 2000s. 
So everybody's walking around with Nokia's 3300s, whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Right now they got them burner phones. They got the burner phones. <laughs> but the funny thing is, like, cops have no idea what a what a burner phone is in the show. They have like the yeah, they were could- using the internet in this in the second season, and the guy was like searching for something, and the his friend was behind him. He's like, "Wow, so like you just ask it a question and." gives you an answer it's like yo nobody yeah. uh, nobody that i know have has ever thought that thought have you for heard like, of you know, google at least 15, <laughs> you know 10 years like yeah. uh, it's it's super outdated in that way sure. also also the wire would never survive in today's climate you know what i mean no they would have to they would have to film it differently yeah because it the, the cops are definitely assholes in the show they, like, they, they were they were wiretapping pay phones Right, but they also beat the crap where's, out of people. Where's the last oh, wow. time? Where's the last time you've seen a payphone? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was like the first season. They were. It was like all the payphones were was like this huge pay thing. Phones and I, I don't know if it was yeah. like how much you built it up or anything like that, but you would tell me specific parts that would come up that would be super hard, like. Yo, he puts hats on these dudes to show who's dealers oh or God, whatever, yes. right? Yep. So like, I watched that happen, and I'm like, not that great, right? Yeah. Because he hyped it up. I think. Nothing against you or nothing, but I just no, was like. everything against you. That's, what was, that's exactly what he's So the thing. I'm really just thing, mad about these ribs. Yeah. The, th- <laughs> <laughs> the thing with me and The Wire and shows like The Wire, I feel like HBO does a really good job at developing characters. Is yeah, one sure. thing that they're really, really good at. Whether it be Westworld Certainly, Game of Thrones. Love Game of Thrones. I um, loved Entourage. Uh, Entourage is a great yeah. one, a great example. True Blood. True Blood, Boardwalk Empire. Like they're really good Sopranos. at developing characters. Sure, not just average characters, but like legendary and characters. That guy, that guy was on the, the Wire. That guy was on the. If, if you watch, if you watch the Wire all the way through, guaranteed for the rest of your life, you'll see just. Actors from the wire sprinkled <laughs> into that everything else. On the wire. He does it all, yeah, all, all the time. time, and you see it now, now too. I see it now. Yeah, because oh, like, oh, that guy's on the wire. <laughs> that guy's on the fucking wire. Like it's it's everywhere. Walking everywhere. Dead, everywhere. Mm. It's oh, nuts. Yeah. It's yeah. nuts. But like the wire to me, those are some of the best characters ever to me. Like McNulty and Bunk are two of the best cop characters yeah. I've ever seen on any other show. I, and they like I I love them like together. The like the, the scenes they share together are always pretty Lest, funny. Lester Freeman, one of the best cops I've ever seen on a show. Yeah. On like a cop show. He's better than the 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 Law and Order guys. He's better than the okay. CSI guys like character-wise, you know? Omar is one of the hardest characters I've ever seen in any show any like forever yeah he definitely he dupes people man he's hard some, as shit. some woman was going around like oh, have you seen this child have you seen this child and this guy's like no lady you got to get out of here and then she pulls out a gun and then here comes omar so like but you can compare these characters to like other characters say in like game of thrones right like not necessarily like identical stories obviously but like the dynamic of them you know, like who's who's the Omar in Game of Thrones? I, I like. There's definitely not a Omar, but like yeah. uh, everybody's a little Omar in that show. I feel like. Like, definitely, yeah, for yeah, real. they're all kind of a little Omar <laughs> in that show. But like, uh, what, what the hell is his fucking name? My favorite guy on Game of Thrones, uh, Tyrion's dude. What's um, his name? Uh, Bron. Bron. Yeah. I feel like Bron's the Omar of of Game of Thrones. Kind of. Or yeah, he's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because he's the hardest. In my opinion, Braun would well, kill yeah. everybody in Game of Thrones. I'm just going to throw that out there. Everybody. Everybody. Pretty badass. <laughs> he has the highest body count in the whole show. Because he did the... he did More the, than the mountain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he, he did the... More than the dragon? He shot the arrow at the water in the Battle of Blackwater. He killed oh. all those people. Oh. He gets that kill. Right. If that was Call of Duty, he'd get all those points. <laughs> all right. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Braun's the hardest. <laughs> I, I I focus on these things. He's got a man crush. Bron, yeah, yeah, Bron, that's my guy. Bron. <laughs> this past season, when when the Wait, dragon almost killed him, spoiler alert. When when the dragon almost killed Bron, I had a heart attack. And yeah. the season before that, when the when the when the gangster girls almost killed him, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I remember. The sand, the sand bitches. Dude, I was. <laughs> I'd have been very upset. Do you watch Game of no. Thrones? No. Allison, Allison, so you gotta, you gotta Allison, get in. Yeah. You, what are you doing? I know. I don't get into TV shows, but Game of Thrones is awesome. Is it a slow start? Though? Yes, a little That's bit. Here, okay. Does Danny watch? 
No. So mm-hmm. for Game of Thrones, you have to make it. All you have to do is make it through the first nine episodes. That's mm-hmm. it. Maybe nine hours. Help. After nine hours, you're in. I don't think it's way, even that much. Okay. I don't yeah, think it's that much. Somebody might get into it before that. For me personally, it wasn't until episode nine. That was a game changer for me. Okay. I was I, like, if they're going to do this, what else are they going to do? Have, and so I wasn't disappointed. Most of their seasons tend to be 10 episodes. And it's always the ninth episode that's just the craziest. Insanity. Mm-hmm. You, you called it. And you were absolutely right. All I'd actually races. be in the middle of the episode like, this must be episode nine because they're going ham. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like episode nine is like always the ending of the season for one side of the the thing. And then episode 10 is the end for the other side. And one of them is always crazier than the other. Yeah. But Allison, I, I honestly, I think episode one was good enough that I was like really curious. Okay. Like, okay, I'm into this because, you know, the when the kid gets pushed out of the thing and da da da, you end up <laughs> yeah. finding out about yeah. the two, whatever. Out of the thing. You know, so I was like, oh, what is happening here? Yeah. Actually, I watched it the first time and then rewatched it again with Robin, the first episode. Okay. So I'm like, you got to watch this. And I caught more things the second time. And then I was just like, all right, we have to watch this because now I'm what did, hooked. And was Robin hooked? Episode yeah. one? Yep. See, I okay. had tried on my own to watch it. My brother, all my brother Tom kept saying is got to pay attention to the map in the beginning. And I'm like, who the f- who are these people like i just i couldn't do it i tried i got to maybe episode four and then i just would stop and then i started dating this guy and he's like oh you gotta watch game of thrones and it actually helped because he i carried you through uh, it carried me through it because he'd be like oh pay attention to these people or oh these Mm. like he kind of explained things as they went along um there is something he didn't spoil for me and i was like why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Why? I'm not prepared. And meanwhile, all my roommates, because I was living in Westchester at the time, were all like, oh, you didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> and I'm like, no. <laughs> no, you should have. Game of Thrones. Oh, Game of Thrones great. will fuck you up, Allison. Oh, no. It will like, so good. it will make you care no, about so people good. and then it will destroy you. I, you have hopes I still and dreams. think about They're Glenn and his, and his eye. Yeah. That's still, that's still, that's still a thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. So. Omar, or uh, uh, I'm saying The Wire. Like it, as you said, it gets better and better and better. Yeah, and I really like it as the season. We're on progress. season three. Season four is my favorite, and then five is the last one. Mm. He and likes to sing part of the uh, the the theme song. I love too. the theme song. <laughs> I love it. Well, it's it's really cool. How they do it though. Every season's a, this the theme song's the same. It's just sung differently. It's by oh. a different artist. Okay, yeah. that's neat. And it kind of goes with the vibe of the season. Like as you go through it, it kind of like it connects. I, yeah. I've the wire is the greatest show ever made. Yo, he would you, with the wire. Would he you fucks with the wire? <laughs> <laughs> would you agree though? Like I know you haven't seen the end, but like would you say that like Bunk and McNulty are better than you know what I mean? That, yeah. Like the grand scheme of things. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's how I feel. I, I don't know. It. I mean, Compared what about it- what about uh, Scully and Mulder from X Files? One thousand percent better. All right, what do you rate? Gray's Anatomy. That's like a ten for you, right? So, like, where does Game of Thrones and you where really does... give it a ten? Though, no, maybe not a ten. But like, I what, are, what it are you really show into? that bitch's leg over and over again? I give that like a seven. <laughs> what does There's that mean? So many inconsistencies. Okay. The so, one, the so one lady the, on Gray's Anatomy, Dakota. No, Eris. <laughs> he does this all the time. Yeah. All right. So she lost her leg in the plane accident. What did I call her the one time? I called her like Louisiana or something. Mm-hmm. Nebraska or something. No. I just called her a different states because she different sucks. Different states, like every, no, that's legit. He calls her a different state every time. Um, he really likes calling her Dakota the most, though. She lost her stupid like, leg her in a plane crash, right? And it was this big deal. I listened to it from the other room for for seasons. It did. It like affected her emotionally. It ruined her relationship, which she's a lesbian, which she's like a one legged scissor. Oh my god! Oh my! It didn't. It didn't god. show that on the show. Can anyone right. relate to that? <laughs> Is that relatable? Um, but then, oh like seasons later, she's walking fine. She's wearing open toe shoes. It shows her legs. Like, I'm like, clearly. But they acted like it didn't happen, didn't happen, or is it a really good no, prosthetic? I just think they just don't think that through. They forgot. Like, just don't shoot <laughs> nah, her from something. below. I don't know, have. dude. We noticed it. Oh. I noticed it. Like he was like, like Whoa. what did you call her shoe? You called her shoe something. I'm like, what? 
I was like, look at it, look at this bitch's shoe. I, 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 but, well, you called it. I don't remember what you said. You, he used some weird not even terminology. Flip flops or something. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> they weren't oh flip flops. They were he basically called them flip flops. Yeah, I'm that's like, crazy. they were open toe. She's wearing pumps. Like, she just definitely, and like, you can see her flesh. It's not a prosthetic. And I get that, like, it's it was a big deal on the show do. that she right. lost. And her life. Just, but if you're going to do that, just don't show her feet. Because then, then we can make believe that there is a prosthetic foot attached to that. Just lazy. Wow, that's Pretty crazy. So I'd give so, it. A, and give like, it not an only that, but like, but like, she straight up, it like, so she's a lesbian and she meets all these people and she like willingly like will go on dates and like sleep with them and it's like doesn't come up in conversation. Mm. Like, don't you think you'd be a little hesitant to like meet somebody new and right. just get that, in bed with them? That and- to me is an incredible storyline. Every time she's trying to yeah. right. record it right. or right. record somebody like, right. you know, I, at some point we have I to have, have this conversation yeah. that this well, leg's not real. She's or not I don't on the show one. anymore. So okay. we don't have to worry about her stupid leg. But I'm just saying. All right. Well, let's get back to things. In the grand scheme of things, how I'd- do you feel wire compares to these other shows that we just discussed well, the wire is probably all right content wise the wire is going to be better than gray's anatomy gray's anatomy tends to repeat a lot of the storylines <laughs> they were so hyped. yes yes but i'm still gonna watch gray's anatomy <laughs> of course you and it's lasted it's lasted longer than the wire yes. so in a lot of cases shame on you <laughs> for liking a show that only lasted five seasons yo gray's me. anatomy's in season 15 now I know we have a list of things to talk about, but I remembered something that is very interesting, and I tied it to The Wire as well. Steve Carell, in an interview recently, said that they, he, in his opinion, they wouldn't be able to do a revamped oh. office, not the way that it was. Because right. in the, the climate of today, with everybody being offended by everything... Right, yeah. like, especially like oh, the Me Too movement and all that shit that, that he was doing all the time yeah, yeah. as Michael yeah. Scott. <laughs> like he, in his opinion, it wouldn't yeah. work out the same. And and once I read that, and I thought that was really interesting. I, I was kind of frustrated with like the way things are now for that reason because mm-hmm. I want more office. Right, <laughs> right. Not gonna happen. I, and I want it the same way that it was. Yeah, right. But I thought about it. The Wire is the same thing. To me, they would never be able to do The Wire the same way that they did The Wire. If you watch The Wire, you know that these cops don't play around. There's cops in here just beating the crap out of kids and like like mm. slamming, up, slamming them up against walls and talking about how the inner workings of the police work and, and how they don't even want to really necessarily fight crime because it affects their numbers and this and that. It's all crazy. The Wire is really dope. But like... I think that that's really interesting that some of these mm-hmm. shows wouldn't last the way that it, they did. Yeah. Now, that's not to say that people at this table wouldn't watch the new office, right? But like other people would probably be offended. Do you think that? Do you agree with Steve Carell? I, I, guess I, 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 kind of I do. Answer. I do agree with him yeah. because there's so many like anyone that doesn't that wasn't familiar that maybe catches a rerun is like, oh, my God. And I'm like, oh, no, no, no. But it's. But it's Michael Scott. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm defending him and he's a creep. Right. <laughs> he's one yeah. of my favorite TV characters. Oh, yeah. God. For sure. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. He's so good. And like. um, I love that show. When I, he yeah. wants like fresh bacon in the morning and burns his <laughs> like, Oh, my God. Yo, the dinner party episode when they go over with him and Jan oh is like God. one of the crazy. So like the it's thing with the office TV. is that it's just it's painfully awkward. Yes. Yeah. But that's, that's so what good. makes it great. It's, so but it's funny because most times in like certain movies or TV shows, I cannot watch them because they're so awkward. Like, Me too. And I know that it's fictitious. I just can't watch it. I cannot watch the movie Never Been Kissed. I saw it once and I was like, I can't do it. Mm. That poor girl goes through so much shit. I can't do it. But The Office, sure. Bring it on. Well, I can also, watch that all day. Also, as far as today's climate goes, Michael Scott is a closet racist. Like he's not. But the <laughs> things that come out of his says- mouth <laughs> is like he's totally right. not, and you know he's not. Right. right. But, but like yeah. just the shit that comes out of his mouth, he just doesn't think. Holy he shit! Yeah. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. So like, if 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 some of these episodes came out in 2018, yeah. were written in 2018, it'd be a big deal. That'd be kind of crazy. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's kind of good to think that was it wouldn't be a comedy anymore. It no. would be a drama. Well, yeah, people would be all up in arms yeah. about it on Twitter yeah, and whatever else. Out. 
But then the thing also is, is that, I mean, they were supposed to take it off of Netflix and it's still on there, isn't it? Or is it gone? Yeah, it's there. But know. see, and I wonder if the reason that it's still there is because of how outrageously popular, popular. it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Which makes me wonder, is he right? Like, I don't know. Because there's a, there's still a huge Following. chunk of people that still watch it. Like, All Danny's right. talked about it before. Where it's just like, I mean, I walked down the stairs and he was watching it today. <laughs> and people people have, <laughs> have like, really tried to get Who's, these guys to do another season of The Wire. And they're just like, how could we do that? Yeah. How could we do that? Today's technology. Again, though, how Cor- could they do that? Some can be corrupted cops. Some can be the good guys. Some can be. Well, now, you know, now HBO's cop show is True Detective, which comes back January. Yeah, I but think? that's. I love yeah. that first one. Did they do a second one? They did. Yeah. It wasn't as Vince, good. Who was in it? Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn and Colin think, Farrell. Yeah, I don't think I watched that one. It was. The first one was so okay, dude, good. The first season of True Detective was a mind blowing experience. Yeah, it was it was intense. Like it was a Who's slow the start. Who's the detectives in this third one? Uh, what's his name? Marcel Ali is his name. The oh, Moonlight guy. guy from Moonlight. Okay. And uh, shit. I always forget. Stephen Dorff. I don't know uh-huh. who that is either. The bad, What's guy, he from? the bad guy in the first blade. I don't, I don't it's know. It's not ringing any bells. I'm trying to think of what else he's doing. Right, while she's looking that up, let me bring something up real quick. Yeah. I watched Spider Man, the new one. What's it called? Homecoming. Homecoming. That shit is good. You liked it. That is so good. So, so we good. saw it in the theater together, I think. Yeah. Did we? I think we saw it in the theater together when when mom and dad were in town. It's possible. So, but I rewatched it this weekend. Mm-hmm. It's so good. And my favorite is MJ. Yeah, she just steals every scene. And then when they tell you who she is at the end, that was just like a yeah, mind blown. Yeah, I did not see that coming when they did that. Me either. I didn't either. But it just made me so hype. And then rewatching it. I was like, yeah, I've seen this guy before. That's Stephen Dorff. Stephen Dorff, yeah. He actually did a commercial years ago for uh, what is an e cig. Oh yeah, he oh, was really? on the blue, 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 yeah. Okay. I thought he was pretty good looking back in the day. I don't know about now. But. He's a good looking but guy. While you guys were talking yeah. about those uh, those shows, I just was kept thinking about that. Like, I just enjoyed it so much. It was really well done. We did a nice little Marvel back to back this weekend. We watched Thor, Ragnarok, and then went straight into Avengers, the new one. Yeah, that yeah. was good too. I like that. The that's, new one? That's the, yeah. the flow of things. It should go Thor Ragnarok into... Into that. Yeah. I, I haven't been crazy into the Marvel movies, but um, but I don't know. I feel like I have to and go you, back and watch them because... You guys don't watch any of the Marvel movies. No. Your boys would Your love boys that would love shit. Them. You really would love that, that shit. I actually, I, I didn't watch any of those, but I did watch the Power Ranger movie. And it was, it was so good. good. It was great. I it liked so it. Good. Was it the new one? Yeah. I keep seeing it because I good. loved Power Rangers as a kid. The girl, it's not what you expect. No, it's not. It's really okay. good. The girl that plays, I think, Kimberly in the Power Rangers movie is going to be in the Aladdin movie. I think she's playing jazz. Oh, uh, okay. No. Okay. Oh, not Kimberly from no, no, the no. original. From, I'm thinking no. of the old <laughs> chick no. from, from when we were the uh, big yeah, ranger yeah, yeah. when we no, were No, not like that Claire. I'm thinking her, I'm like, like, where did she lady? come from that name? she's going to be in the new Amy Jo Johnson yeah, or something? Yo. <laughs> yeah. How did you remember that? She was the <laughs> hot no ranger. Like, come on. Everybody, Everybody wanted was. to be here, and I hated the color pink. Oh, Even I, I wanted I to be her. I didn't hate her. I didn't hate her. You don't hate her. You hate the color of her suit. That's debatable. I was into the suit. I uh, those were no, those. I watched, uh, it was good. Awkward color. teenage years. But I'm telling you, awkward Allison, you guys, and I told Danny this before too. You guys would love all these Marvel movies, like Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Oh, I love. They that would movie. love. Them. Oh yeah, they would, you guys would love them. The soundtrack's really good too. So good. I have to put it on for Blake. But I feel like I got to go back and watch Thor, and I never watched Age of Ultron. So like, here's the Did thing. Did you watch Ragnarok? No. Oh my god. Oh it's dude, so good. It's my favorite Marvel movie, straight up. The newest more, Thor. more than uh, than Thanos and yes, all right, yep. Because Co- content wise, first of all, it's hysterical. Thor, Thor is the hardest. That dude is so funny. He's so dreamy. Chris, is it Chris Hemsworth? Yeah, Chris yeah, yeah. yeah. In the new, Yo, in, the, in the new Avengers, it was hysterical when he meets the Guardians of the Galaxy for the first time. Oh yeah, dude, that's oh, just yeah, so yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but you would love it. So Allison, long, you would love it. And the boys, oh my god, they would love it. Because like none of them are night. scary or nothing. Yeah, Summer I th- would love it if she's into hot. Most of them, most of them are on Netflix too, I believe. Quite a few of okay. them are. Yeah, 
I, I don't know about like the first, like the like Iron Man one or anything, but I, Thor is, isn't he? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think that's how we watched Ragnarok, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's on Netflix. All right, since this is relatable radio, I feel like I can talk about this here. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're listening. Yes, bring so it on. So Robin and I are always talking about how we don't have enough time for movies. We always like every time that something comes out, we're like, we got to see that, got to see that. Yeah. So now we're discussing picking a day and just regardless, making an effort to w- sit down and watch a movie the same day or whatever it is every week. Good idea. Okay. Just scheduling the time because yeah. it's like we it's always hard. put things off or like, oh, we're tired, whatever. So da, da, da. Never stop dating your spouse. So it's like a date day or night. In. Yeah. Yeah. That's good advice. Perfect. It's so easy to do that when like There's we're no both kids. so like career driven and the kids and we're always just, you know, working our butt off and then you know, you, you guys get it. Yeah, I get it. So before before I forget and before we run out of time, Allison, you posted a video recently <laughs> yeah. that is taking the internet by storm. Yep. The funniest <laughs> shit ever. <laughs> So like <laughs> we posted it on our on the Might Be News Network Facebook, so yeah. you can go find it. But um, so it was like it was another one of your more or less mom fails, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Why don't you, <laughs> how my life goes? Why don't you explain that? Um, a little bit? So I had to take Blake to the doctor, and he's been really into coloring lately, like markers. He'll watch Netflix in his room and just be coloring, and. I so I take him to the doctor's. He has to take his like shirt off for like a physical, and I look at him, and he had colored his nipples <laughs> black <laughs> and his belly button, and the doctor didn't say anything. And I and I was like, look, I just have to talk about this. Like I have to just, <laughs> you know, it's an elephant in the room. He colored his nipples in. He colored his belly button in. I just need to get that out there because we clearly all see it. <laughs> like it's, Is it's that it. what you said yeah. to the doctor? Was, oh, that's so funny. I, know, I was like, we just need to talk about this. How long did it take you? Like when he pulled his shirt off, did your did you jaw like, just was, drop? I was like, oh my like God, instant. you did your belly button. Oh my God, your nipples are. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I just looked at him like, oh my God. <laughs> like this is happening. Wait, so what did uh, the doctor say? Nothing. You know, he's probably seen weirder. Doctors shit. can't; they don't get surprised by Blake. I mean, I've taken him in one time because he swallowed, you know, coins, and he didn't know which <laughs> coin it was. So I had to do a lineup. I had like a quarter, I had the nickel, the dime, the penny, and I'm like, which one was it? Yeah. Which one? So it ended up being a, I think, a dime. But oh, that's so yeah. funny. I mean, he keeps me on my toes, but he did makes us laugh really pass hard. The dime. Um, or did he have to get it surgically removed? No, he, he, the doctor wasn't worried about it. He didn't hear anything like weird and going on in his stomach, or so we just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, yeah. it's out. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's the next time he flies, he like sets off the metal yeah. detectors because he's yeah. got change in his stomach. Yeah, <laughs> it's like permanently yeah. there. <laughs> so now I decided I'm just gonna take all that and I'm just gonna. Be myself and just put it out there. Yeah. So oh, you should. Perfect. It's so funny. <laughs> it's really, really funny. Over, over 3,000 views on that video. It's That's so fun. Like, awesome. yeah, somebody was like, oh my God, you have 147. And then, like, 12 hours later, I was like, oh my God. I was this like, crazy. Standing in line at Penhurst, and I was like, oh my God, she's already over 1,000 yeah. views. And she was just at like, I saw like 442. Yeah. And it was like over a thousand. And then like an hour later, I was like, she's at 2,000. Yeah. Like, how did this happen? <laughs> so funny. It's rapidly growing. Viral. <laughs> yeah, just give me an ugly Snapchat filter. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not really what she looks like, I promise. That's, that's one of the funniest parts about the video, though. Yeah. 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 He's like, it's the because the voice it, is perfect. It's not like one of those high pitched, right. like squeaky ones. Yeah. Well, and it like, it, it, it makes your expressions yeah. like all that more extreme. Yes. Like when you frown, your your mouth yeah. goes like all the yeah. way down. It's hysterical. Yeah. yeah, it's a good one. And John, I didn't mean to to cut you off. Did did you and Robin start this movie plan? No, we just discussed it like this evening. Oh, oh, so it's, it's like okay, it's brand fresh. new. What are you thinking about for your first movie? I don't know yet. We were like, we like, do we just? pick one sporadically or do we like spend the time to go through a list mm, that's my and check issue. some off are you gonna yeah. like do it at home yeah or go out at home 
Okay. Have you ever seen either of the Sicario movies? I have. I've seen the first one. Mm-hmm. She hasn't. There's a good copy of the second one up on that thing. Okay. It's good. The second one's good. You guys should make a list of movies that you'd want to see and then just yeah. start checking them off. That's list. what we kind of want to do is like, what are we both really like interested a, like, in? That I'm we sure can there's agree a ton on? of like classic movies that like I haven't seen yet or I don't know. Like, I'm sure there's a ton. Start somewhere. Like we just keep watching like the same oh four God. or five movies. Follow the alphabet. Oh, that's a good idea. You guys follow watch the like the Fifth Element all the time. The Fifth Element, <laughs> Pride and Prejudice. Um, I love. I, don't know. I can't watch movies ever again. I really? hate it. I hate oh. it. The but, only movie I will is The Girl Next Door is my favorite movie. That's not true. Hocus Pocus and Hocus Pocus. <laughs> that is true. I think there's some weird comfort for us, like to put on a movie that we've seen a thousand times. Well, where it's you like, know, like for me, if I'm going to take a nap, I'm like, well, I'm not going to put on a new episode of something yeah, that I'm going to fall asleep to. I'm yeah. going to put on a movie I've seen so I know yeah. I can fall asleep and hopefully not have fucked up dreams. I usually put yeah. on New Girl for that. I love New Girl. Mm. Favorite. Um, I started watching The Purge. <gasps> yes, Taylor was saying that. Yeah. What do you think? Pretty good. I was like, yeah. oh, I think I know what she did. And I'm like, hopefully I was paying attention. But I was like, the that CEO lady, the one that's like having oh, yes. the meeting. Yes. I was like, I think I know what she's doing. Like it took me a minute. I was like, yeah. she's being shady. And I was like, oh, yeah, I know what she's doing. Did oh, you get man. to the bus part yet? The blue bus? Yes. I had to turn. I think I'm on episode three. Okay. The bus just fucks me up in the head. Um. I'm, I'm at the part now. where yeah, I'm at the, to I'm at the part it. where like the 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 sister's been chosen. Oh my god, she, it messes me up. She's still on the bus. Like I had to stop <laughs> it. It just the the screen, the wait till she gets just, off the bus. No, Jackie. Oh my god. Oh my god. We got Can we watch it tonight? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have nightmares. Not before bed. No. <laughs> terrifying. Are you terrifying. watching it too, Taylor? No, no, no he's, he wants okay. to. So I was I was like, are you gonna watch the purge with me? <laughs> he's in the other room. And he's like. I mean, I will. And I'm like, so I shouldn't watch it now. He's like, well, you can. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm going to watch it. <laughs> you know, it's such a weird thing because I always get excited to watch stuff, but I don't want to wait for Robin. So I'll just watch it anyway. But then I feel bad and I'm like, I wish she would have watched it so we could talk about it. So then it's uh, like, yeah. if, if I wasn't, so if I didn't have to wait jerk. for her, I would just plow through things <laughs> like on weekends or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Talking about mo- <laughs> shows and movies. <laughs> You go ahead and plow whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> Since I said that, Jack well, like, I, like, <laughs> I just plow through things when she's not around. But. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't you know what we'll up. what we'll it's watch. Relatable. After this. It's relatable. <laughs> I don't know what we'll watch together after the wire. See, the, we usually the purge. Yeah, the purge, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I was kind of waiting for it to be over so like we could binge it. Yeah, that's. I think it's close because now done. that now that Netflix is is a thing and Hulu is a thing. Yeah, it's like I've grown accustomed to that, to not waiting. Yeah. a week. Yeah. My brother waits for everything. He won't watch a show until it's on Netflix. Really? Yep. I know. I know quite a few people like that because mm-hmm. either a they don't have cable or whatever. Yeah. He just started walking. Just dead. the way it is. Yeah. And see, that's a grueling thing. Those those seasons are like twenty episodes yeah. a piece. Well, same with Grey's, I guess, right? Yeah. There's a lot. It's crazy. Except for like season one was like the least amount. And and now there's like 24, 25 episodes per season. And The Walking Dead just gets so slow. I, yeah, I stopped. Yeah, I checked out on that. I stopped. I in, did too. What was the last season? We're, I didn't, we're, I don't even know. we're two seasons back or are we just one? Am. One. Well, the, they're in the Ooh. current season, and we're we got to watch the one prior to that. We got about three episodes in, which is where I made it, trying to watch it live while it's on TV. It's not doing well. Like people are people are checked out. Like they said that this premiere was like really really See, low. The guy that played uh, Herschel died in yep. real life. I was upset. Oh, wow. The guy Glenn was in that movie we just watched recently. Yeah, that's sorry we're to bother like, you. Hey, look, it's Glenn. He has eyes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah he, he's doing just fine. Good. Oh, Good. how was that? Was that the telemarketer thing? Yeah, it Dude, was good. It's weird. Like I get that I came into it late. Yeah, he was watching when I got home from soccer. Wait, yeah. is this the black dude doing the white guy voice? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. I can't figure out what the movie's like really about because it's you, got you'll weird. Never, listen. Okay. Whatever your thoughts are, they're wrong. Okay. They're wrong. <laughs> Yo, your face, Taylor. You're just like. 
bro. It's crazy. I was like, I swear, did you fall asleep before that ended? And then I had to finish it, and I was like, dude, whatever you're watching was fucking and weird. And I, I went back and, and rewatched the end. What is it called? Uh, sorry, sorry to bother, to bother you. you. So it's yet. it's it's very crazy. It's it's very crazy. The guy. And then he's like, it's so deep. It is really deep. So like the, the the whole the whole concept of the movie is basically pointing out how the Thirteenth Amendment works in my mind. This is how I read the movie. It it's all about uh, slavery uh, while being incarcerated, more or less. Okay. So like in this movie, it's not too distant future. There's a, there's this company called Worry Free where they allow you to go in there. And live in this environment for the rest of your life. You sign a lifetime contract. All you have to do is work for X amount of hours in some factory or wherever they send you. And you live in this like bunk type room that looks just like jail. Like it looks just like jail. The whole thing is just like jail. And but they're like <laughs> dressing it up. They have like episode of Cribs on there. Like it shows it on TV. And like all these people are like, you know what? I'm just. I'm tired of paying bills. I'm tired of having responsibilities. I'm ready to just check in to worry free and just live my life the rest of my life with no worries. Okay. But the thing is, is that it, this ends up being a different form of kind of slave labor, which is what happens when you're incarcerated. You work for like next to no money. You work crazy hours. Like they have, they have firefighters that are prisoners out in California fighting those wildfires for like 30 cents a day. That's real. You can save a child's life with that. (laughs) But like, so the movie itself kind of wraps itself around that, but it just follows this one guy who's like just broken, is trying to make money. There's a whole other layer, and finds a way to change his voice into having a white voice, and it makes him super successful at being a telemarketer. And I don't know the crazy. I don't know the actor's name in real life, but if you saw the movie Get Out, he was Get Out. So the guy that got photographed that ended up freaking out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That's that him. guy. Right. Okay. And he's in Atlanta. I've seen the trailers. Yeah. So I kind of, I guess I have no idea what the movie's about. You'll never but like, know. That's kind of what yeah. I got is like the feeling like the guy figured out that if he changed his voice to sound like a white guy, he would do better at his job. But From the trailers, it looks like this like funny comedy movie that is all about that but you, one thing but you can it's not tell that something's up other layer. in the trailer there's there's a whole, okay. other layer. whole other layer so should i watch it uh i would recommend it to people with the caveat that it's a fucking weird movie all right it I'm definitely, has, no, it definitely has go ahead and watch it and then let's talk about it yeah. okay it definitely has a weird ending for sure it's <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely right. weird, and it came all the way out of left field. Like yeah. I was like, "What?" I kind of so like weird shit like that. Though. It's weird. It's weird, but it was good. I liked it. All right, and that guy's in Atlanta. If you haven't seen Atlanta, I started it, and it's really good. Yeah, good. he watches shows without. I thought about mm-hmm. that because Donald Glover was in Spider Man. Mm-hmm. He's got that little cameo, mm-hmm. and it's not that good. Mm-mm. And I was like, I wonder if his show's good. It is because I like him. It is. All right. Yeah. He loves it. Full circle. Yeah. Donald Glover brought it full circle. And uh, fun fact, uh, Donald Glover's character in the new Spider-Man movie, I think it's his brother or his cousin or something, ends up being the next Spider-Man, Miles Morales. What? Yeah. They're already changing Spider-Man? In in the comics, comics. they already did. Oh. Yeah. In the comic books right now, there's a different Spider-Man. Oh. Yeah. Miles Morales. He's in the video game, too. It's cool. Anyway. Okay. Weird, right? But that's all the time we have for this week. Take us out of here, Jackie. All right, everybody. Let's do it. Well, yeah. wait a minute. John, thank you so much yeah. for being thank here. Thank you for having me. It was so much fun talking with you guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let's go to get our nails done. <laughs> oh. Allison, great job. <laughs> Thanks. Jackie did wonderful. Thanks. You have to say that. And don't. Yeah, I missed Amy. <laughs> I, I want to come back when it's the whole crew. Yeah. Oh, we're not enough for you. Oh, no, fun. not really. I'll give you my mic. You can deal with these women. <laughs> you can deal with these women. Wom- these Just girls. another thing that I need to plow through. <laughs> <laughs> An episode with all three ladies. Ah. That's it. <laughs> At the same time. I'll just hang back. I'll just, I'll just produce the whole thing. Just, right, you guys are making this weird. I'm silent partner. <laughs> You've I was trying to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jackie, take us out of here. Bye. 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 Bye.